Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, Fianchetto defense. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Takes back. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is an inaccuracy. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. That's good. Now the bishop is suitably protected. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Backs off. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. 
what I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is quite good. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Takes back. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a rook. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is the strongest option. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.